everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I'm still going through the preferences, and we are going to go through the playback preferences under Premiere Pro. If you go under up under Premiere Pro, go to Settings, uh, and then you go down to Playback, it will pop up in this menu here. Once again, if you are operating on a Windows machine or a PC, you're going to go to Edit, and at the bottom of Edit, you will find your preference panel right there, and you move over and choose your option Playback. So I'm going to choose playback right now. And as we open this up, we see a few different things here in this little window right down here. Uh, this is something that Adobe has added recently, the Adobe SRT. This is built for streaming where you can play video and audio directly through a streaming device so somebody can watch it as you're playing it back uh, through Premiere Pro. I haven't used that yet, so I'm not really going to go through that yet. Now, this playback function is, is really built if you have an additional monitor, if you have an, an extra monitor. So what I've got here is I'm working on my um, MacBook Pro laptop here. And with that, I've got uh, an HDMI plugged in, and uh, that is connected to this 4K monitor. So this is an additional monitor with what they call an extended uh, desktop display here. So, so this is my extended desktop. And what the way I've got this set up right now, you can see my mouse shaking over on the left-hand uh, screen here. If you move this mouse over and keep on moving over, it goes over and transitions to the other to the screen to the right. So this is just like one big desktop space that you have uh, between these two monitors here. Now, if you have a PC tower or a Mac Pro tower or something like that, uh, the video cards pretty much always have additional ports, uh, extended ports. Uh, you'll have maybe like two or three different HDMI ports on the back of your video card. With the newer Mac Pro, you'll have USB-C cable, so you just have to get a converter to go from USB-C to HDMI if you have an HDMI monitor. You'll find the same function on your PC, but if you go up here to the top right-hand corner of the screen and you go down to your display and you check display settings, this will bring open this panel and you can tell once you plug in an additional device you can tell what you want to do with that device if i select that device right there uh, right now i'm choosing to use it as an, an extended display and i'm not using it to mirror if you're using it to mirror you're going to have the exact same image on both screens and the, and the exact same desktop so now that i'm set up to use that i can go up to premiere pro and we're going to go to settings and we'll go to playback it is recognizing both of my monitors right here monitor one this is my laptop right here and it shows the resolution that it's displaying in and now this is my secondary monitor uh, to the right here. I've got Premiere Pro loaded on my secondary monitor here. So I opened it up and just grabbed it by the top like this, and I moved it over to my secondary screen, just dragged it right over to my secondary screen. When you bring it over, in fact, you can double-click if it's not perfectly lined up. You double-click on this black bar at the top, and it fits it within your window resolution there. So I'm going to go to Premiere Pro, Settings, and Playback, and we're going to check mark it. You don't want to check mark it for the same monitor that you're working on, in fact, if you just check mark the monitor that you're working on and hit OK and move the playback, nothing happens because it knows better to make it go full screen because then you can't access the controls to get it back out of full screen. So we're going to go to settings, playback, and we're going to check mark my uh, uncheck this current monitor and check my left hand monitor and we'll hit OK. When I hit OK, watch what happens. My video goes full screen and now if I play back in Premiere here and move to this monitor, We've got a full screen playback device over here. It's using my laptop monitor as a full screen playback device. That way you can keep editing on the right hand monitor and see full screen what exactly your movie is looking like. One last thing, if you're working on a single monitor and you don't have your dual screens up and running, you can still view your video full screen on the same device that you're watching. And that is done by hitting control tilde, not command tilde. This is the same on both a PC and Mac. You're gonna hold your thumb down on control and hit the tilde key, and that will toggle your video to full screen. If I hit home, it goes to the beginning of my timeline, and I can hit space bar and play, and it will play back your footage on your timeline full screen. You can do the same thing if you have, have something loaded in your source monitor. If we load a clip in our source monitor and we want to play this back full screen, same thing, you can hit control tilde, and right now I've got, you'll notice this uh, blue outline right here. That means it's going to toggle this screen full screen and not my timeline. Now I can play that back full screen, on my single monitor. And once again, if you select your timeline or your program window and you have that blue highlight around either one of those, if you hit control tilde, it will toggle that open full screen and you can play it back. And then to get out of that, you simply hit control tilde again. Once again, it's not command tilde, it is control tilde on both a PC and on a Mac. Well, thanks for watching Chin Fat, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them below.